While more car buyers are shopping for crossovers and SUVs these days, the sedan remains an important vehicle in the mix. Sedans tend to be less expensive and offer up a more engaging driving experience. And we happen to love them. Two of the most interesting mid-sized sedans you can look at these days are the Honda Accord and the Kia K5. Let's dig into how they're similar and what sets them apart. With the K5, you get a sleek interior, a fuel-sipping engine, and user-friendly infotainment system with optional all-wheel drive. There's even a turbocharged model, the K5 GT, which has the power and agility of a true sports sedan. The K5 is available in four trims, LXS, GT Line, EX, and GT. All but the GT get power from a 180 horsepower, 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that sends power to the front wheels via an eight speed automatic transmission. The optional all wheel drive is only available on the GT line, which comes in handy if you live in places where bad weather is a factor in your daily commute. The base K5, while on paper, might not look like it wields a ton of power, feels surprisingly spry on the road. The throttle pedal feels responsive at first touch, and the transmission judiciously distributes power, downshifting with haste when necessary. Put it in sport mode and things get even snappier. If more driving excitement is on your must-have list, then there's the K5 GT, which gets a turbocharged 2.5-liter engine. With over 100 horsepower more, the GT has a true wild side, with the ability to sprint to 60 miles an hour in less than 6 seconds. The ride in the K5 feels comfortable enough, but it does lack the refinement that the folks at Honda have managed to hone in the Accord over decades of tuning. The K5 gets great headroom for all passengers. Visibility, a massive optional moonroof, and comfortable seats in some excellent color options round out a pleasing driving experience. Remember when I told you sedans were less expensive than crossovers and SUVs? That plays out at the gas pump too. The K5's fuel economy numbers are very livable. When it comes to tech, the K5 levels up, giving you a lot for your money, including an available 10.25 inch touchscreen with great graphics, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and satellite radio. Wireless charging is also available. Kia's strength is how they give their cars more extras and features standard than a lot of other automakers for less money. That remains the case against the Accord. Base price on the K5 starts at $27,900, including destination charges. Where the K5 truly shines is with their outstanding warranty. Kia offers buyers a five-year, 60,000-mile basic warranty and confidence in their powertrain for 10 years or 100,000 miles. All of those great nods notwithstanding, the K5 and every other sedan in this category have stiff competition in the Honda Accord. Fresh from a complete redesign for the 2023 model year, the Honda Accord pushes all the right buttons. This exquisitely engineered Honda recently took home the Kelly Blue Book Best Buy Award in the midsize car category, thanks in no small way to its roomy cabin, expansive trunk, and two solid powertrain options, including a fuel-efficient gas and hybrid electric, something that Kia doesn't offer, at least not yet. It's available in six trims, the LX, EX, Sport Hybrid, EXL Hybrid, Sport L Hybrid, and Touring Hybrid. With the LX and EX, you get a turbocharged 1.5 liter four-cylinder engine, whereas all upper trims are equipped with a 203 horsepower gas electric hybrid powertrain featuring a two liter four-cylinder. You get a bump in horsepower on the base engine, but you're also mated to a continuously variable transmission, which can hinder performance compared to a regular automatic. The Kia K5 has a modern and comfortable interior with particularly generous front leg room. However, the Accord is roomier, especially in the back. With 40.8 inches of rear leg room, the Accord bests rivals not only like the K5, but other mid-sized sedans like the Toyota Camry and Nissan Altima. The Accord also has a class-leading trunk with 16.7 cubic feet of capacity. Standard in the entry-level Accord LX is a user-friendly 7-inch touchscreen, wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a 10.2-inch digital instrument display, and multiple USB outlets. Choosing the optional hybrid powertrain brings along a larger 12.3-inch touchscreen, wireless smartphone connectivity, Amazon Alexa, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. 
The hybrid engine offered in the Accord is nearly seamless in how it operates. All too often, hybrids deliver great fuel economy but feel awkward in their transition from gas to electric power and back. Not so in the Accord. It works beautifully while delivering enviable fuel economy. Even if you don't opt for a more economical hybrid, the Accord gets an edge over the K5 in the gas mileage department. When it comes to ride quality and driving refinement, no sedan can match the Accord's pedigree. Decades of engineering and fine tuning remain unmatched with any other midsize sedan available. With every generation, Honda keeps making the Accord better and better, imbuing it with characteristics that rival some more expensive German brands when it comes to handling and performance. Places where Honda doesn't quite level up to the K5 include pricing. Base price on the Accord LX starts at $28,990, including destination, and with their warranty. Honda only offers a three-year, 36,000-mile basic warranty and five years or 60,000 miles on their powertrain. Two pretty equal players on paper, but for us, even though the Accord is about $1,000 more, it does get the nod for its it factor in the drivability department. Kia is hot on the heels of this perennial favorite, however, so Honda has no time to rest on their laurels. But for now, the Accord still takes the crown when it comes to this mid-sized sedan matchup.